guys welcome back to the channel my name is Claire this is Polly Paul. I don't know what I'm doing there my name is Claire this is Polly put the petal on and today I'm coming to you um, as you'll have seen by the title with a haul um, I have got items from New Chic that will be a gift guide I have got uh, Christmas decorating items from the range and I have got items from Asda George home and even the charity shop actually so without further ado i hope you're having a lovely saturday guys and um you've got nice weather we've got nice dry weather uh i'm not sure about the temperature because i've not really been out but um yeah so i hope you're having a lovely weekend and without further ado let's crack on with this and um i'll show you what i have got so this part of the video, guys, with New Chic is um, in collaboration and these items have been gifted. They approached me, um, well, this is the third time now. And the third time they said to me, how about doing a gift guide? And I thought, you know what, that would be brilliant because I've chose to do a gift guide for him. I could have done jewellery. I could have done a gift guide for her, gift guide in general, or I could have chose him. And I chose him because I don't know about anybody else, but I struggle with my boys because they're not bothered. <laughs> they're just not bothered. Um, you can say to them, what would you like? Is there anything that you and they're like, not bothered or no, not 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 really, you know, and then you you're baffled. You know, I think girls in my in my book, my daughter is easy to buy for because, you know, but my boys no. <laughs> So, but when I went on to New Chic, I really was um, quite impressed with the, because it, obviously if you go on New Chic and you're shopping for yourself, you don't even look at the men's stuff. Um, and so when I started to browse the men's products, I thought, oh, you know, I really was ple pleasantly surprised. And without a word of a lie, guys, the items arrived and I am super impressed. I'll not steer you wrong, you know, um, if they're no cop, you know, I'm more than likely to tell you. But the items that I have received from New Chic that I ordered and chose for my boys, they're brilliant. So I'm going to start with some, I'm going to start with, I just don't know. <laughs> I'm going to start with this little wallet. I chose this little wallet. Um... It's real leather. It's Bull Captain. That's the that's the brand that's um, embossed into that. Is that the right word, embossed? Uh, it's got a zip all the way around it. You open it up. That's your little protector thing. You open it up, you've got your cards. There's a couple of card spaces there. You've got, I think, five card spaces there. You've got a little um, zip compartment for your coins. Um, you've got your paper, money, compartments, and this is also anti-theft. Um, it's got anti-theft properties, if you know what I mean. So, you know, there's, if your hub, hubby or your partner or your son has got this in his back pocket or his top pocket, wh wherever he's keeping it, um, and, you know, you can get those people that hover their phone over the top. Well, they can't. They will not be able to. I think there's some kind of, it's anti-magnetic or something like that, guys, which I thought was great. Um, so this was £20. I'm going to link everything in the description box below if I can. Um, and yes, it is slightly pricey, but it's genuine leather and it is uh, anti-theft. So I thought you know what a lovely gift oh there's a pocket there as well guys uh i thought that was really quite a nice gift and it's obviously gonna last so that was that one i might as well stick with the leather product um this is a again it's bull captain this is how they arrive, guys, individually uh, wrapped in um, and just dispose of your plastics, you know, um, as you would do responsibly in your in your bin, in your uh, recycling bin. 
So I chose this and I chose this for Carl. I can say it out loud because he's not he's not here. And um, it's a genuine leather man bag, cross the body, cross body bag, you know. Um, it's a really nice, I love it. It doesn't quite go, it doesn't quite match that. And that's what I was trying to do. So I think this, oh, I will go for my son. And this doesn't quite match that, but this will definitely be for Carl. Um, you've got a zip because he uses one, but he uses it, it's, it's an Adidas or something like that, Nike or something like that. You know, when we're on holiday and he wants to take a few things out with him because we're going out for the day or anything. And so I thought this is much more attractive. Um, and like I say, it's leather. So you've got your zip compartment, but it's one of those, like a, like a file. I know there's a name for it, guys, <laughs> but uh, offhand, it's not coming to me. Uh, so you've got your, your front pocket, which is quite handy, isn't it? For access, easy access for stuff. You know, say it's your phone. <clears throat> something that you're going to use. You've got a little handle there, like that over the top. Then you've got your, your crossbody strap, which is nice webbing. You know that, um, it's webbing that is. I know it is because we, we used to have a, a, we used to have a maker of this in our town. It's like webbing, isn't it? And uh, so very strong uh, and durable, this, this sort of stuff. You've got a back pocket there. Quite a deep back pocket, so that's good. And then you've got your you've got your main compartment, uh, and there's a pocket in there, and that is quite deep. And there's a pocket there, guys, as well. So you know, I thought, yeah, that's a that's a really uh, nice gift um, for Carl. And that that was twenty. It says 28 97 but as I say, I will link it. Not all these gifts are expensive, guys. I'm going to show you. I'm moving on to the cheaper stuff. Um, so please don't think, oh, yeah, well, we can't, you know. Honestly, they're not. It's just that I wanted to get those, you know. Um, so I will move on to the other stuff. So I have picked up this for Carl, and it's a nice little winter set. It's a hat and it's a, what are these called? Snoods. So you pop it over your neck. You've got all this fur lining, this faux fur lining. They had them in many colours. I can't remember the colours offhand. Um, and then that looks like cable knit down, you know, on the, on the outside of it. So you're going to get some warmth out of that. And then the hat that matches. And let's see if that... Yeah, it's all the way in. Now, Carl's not got a lot on top. <laughs> so for winter, this is ideal for him. Um, who's that by? All Match. It says the pioneer of fashion trends, All Match. On there. So that is a really nice little set for winter, isn't it? Um, and that was £10.42. And I think that's really quite nice. It's really nice and soft. That fur is really, really soft, guys. And the wool is wool. You know, it's it's wool. It feels like wool. So, um, I was really quite impressed with that. £10.42. And then, I'm going to stop rattling these bags. And then I... I saw this. Now this, guys, I thought, oh yeah, it'll come in as brush cotton. It's not brush cotton, it's polyester and cotton. However, it's still very nice. And this was, I haven't got, I haven't written the the uh, price of this down. So I will either flash it up on the screen or it will be linked below. And it's a um, check shirt, but it's got a hood on it can you see so you know quite a nice casual um look that can it could be worn over a jumper uh, or a or another layer any kind of other layer <clears throat> long sleeve nice long sleeve uh button down i don't know if there's a pocket on the front no there's no pockets on the front but you don't use them anyway do you they just, they just look unsightly if you put something in them um 
but yeah i really really like that now i'll try and can you see it's not um brush cotton but it's not a bad it doesn't feel bad guys it feels it doesn't feel it doesn't feel uh like polyester but it is polyester and cotton it's a polyester cotton blend and it is really quite nice and like i say i haven't got the price of that i will i will flash it up um but again i think i got that in a medium a 38 i think i got that in um which is a medium in our in our uh sizing you know for for a man so i picked that up and i chose this this is for carl too and this is carl and what i really liked about new chic is that they've got these novelty things <laughs> And I thought, oh yeah, this is Carl all over. This is 100% cotton and I can feel it straight off. You know, it is 100% cotton. It's a black t-shirt in a medium again. I think it's a size 38. And look at that. That is Carl's sense of humour. Um, so it's just a casual t-shirt with whatever it is. It says extra large this, but it's a 38 um just look if you look on the that's how i can advise you is to look on you know know your size know you know your partner or your son's size um and you know go on the on the size guide because like i say that says extra large but it's not it's you know it's not but that is you know call sense of humor i really like it and i think this was about 11 11 pounds yeah it's about 11 pounds guys but I really like that. <clears throat> and I know it, Carl will love it. Because that's Carl all over. Um, and then I picked up another one. Um, now this is because my son's about, oh, he's over six foot. So I had to get a large. This was 3XL. But it, I think it comes a 42, guys. And again, it's black, but that is, again, it's, that is my son. Um, I think that is absolutely brilliant. That, that astronaut hanging from the moon, swinging from the moon on his little swing. I love it. So again, the £11 mark. So they've got loads of different ones, guys, loads of different. And they have these in loads of different colours as well. You know, this, this particular design, they've been in loads of different colours. And again, it's 100% cotton and you can feel it, um, you know, because sometimes you're not too sure, are you? You look on these sites and you're not sure of the material. You think it's cotton. When it comes, it's that shiny stuff, you know, that nylon stuff. I think it's nylon, polyester. But yeah, they're 100% cotton. So I'm really impressed with them, them T-shirts, guys. Um, and like I say, they have a range of different colours and um, they have got lots of different novelty T-shirts. Um, and if you look, you know, if you look at the description and all that, it will tell you whether it's cotton and, you know, it will tell you. Um, so the next three things, they're socks, because, you know, you've got to gift socks at Christmas time, haven't you guys? And um, I thought these were absolutely fabulous. And again, I think these ones are three, three ninety eight a pair. But I really, really like them. They're art socks. So you've got your, and these are for my son. You've got your um, Mona Lisa there. And I, I just love them. They have got many, many different, um, different pairs, different kind. And these are a nice, lovely material on the, on the foot. Um, and then you've got those, you know, you've got your, your, uh, my son's just come down the stairs. That's Sod's Law, isn't it? I'm trying to show you his presents. But yeah, so fabulous. And what did I say they were? 3 a pair. But really, really good. And unusual as well, aren't they, guys? And I know that he's going to appreciate them. I'm not going to 
uh, put those in. And then this pair, this is another art pair. And it's uh, Edvard, Edvard Munch's, is it Edvard Munch? The Scream. Brilliant. Just brilliant. And it's the same material again. Really, really nice, you know. I'm super impressed with them, guys. I really am. I don't know why I've... <laughs> it's because it's in the kitchen. Um, and then I've got these. And I think these were slightly more. It cost slightly more. And again, I'll either flash it on the screen or they'll be linked in the description below. But I love them. And they had, again, many, many different um, styles and colours. Funky. You know. For... He who shall not be named. I love them. And again, the material, it's lovely. Lovely and soft. Let's put my hand in there. I really am impressed with uh, New Chic. And, uh, well, I didn't need to whisper that, did I? <laughs> yeah. Loads of stretching them, guys. Brilliant. Um, so I am, I'm really, I really am. Um, it gets a, a thumbs up from me, guys. And like I say, I'll not steer you wrong. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, go and spend your money at this place. And um, it's a load of crap. Because I wouldn't do that to you. This last thing that I got from New Chic, and then we'll move on to the Asda Christmas things. It's a decoration of type. Um, and it's a moonlight. How much was this? Have I got the moonlight? Oh, at those socks, guys, if you buy three, you get 20% off your third, your third, well, no, you don't get 20% off your third pair. You get 20% off the whole, if you buy three pairs. Uh, I haven't got the moonlight either. So I will link that, but you've got that or that. So you've got it in the, white light or the orange light can you see it's not showing up is it and you just charge it can you hear my belly guys it's rolling so that's the white light and then you've got your oh it glows if you keep your finger on it it glows even more so i just love that and it's got a little wooden stand guys in there and your USB charger, which you just charge under there. And that's how you turn it on and change the color as well. I think it's brilliant. Um, and it's quite appropriate for, and it'll just give a nice little glow, you know, of an evening. So yeah, so I was really super happy with that. And, and that's my gift guide for, uh, for him really i love i love it so i've i've you know i've got some clothes i've got i chose quite a nice array to show you so i've got the clothes i've got the accessories i've got the socks because you've got to have the socks at christmas and i've got a little uh a little something uh practical something for um uh, you know their own space their own room and stuff so i hope you enjoyed that part and now we really will and like i say that was um in collaboration with new chic and I'd like to thank New Chic for that. Um, and uh, those items were gifted to me. Um, now, the next lot, I've paid with my own money and I went to... I was looking for those green baubles, guys. And I couldn't find them anywhere. I found two in the range, two individual ones, and they were 149 each. And goodness me, they're very pretty, aren't they? You've got that one. And you've got that one. And I just think they're really, really lovely. And when they're on the tree and the light's hitting it, you know, that super shine and then you glitter. When they're on the tree and the light's hitting it, they really are quite spectacular. So I only got the two though. I do need more. So if anybody knows where there's any decorative green baubles, please leave me a message in the comments box guys because i'm beginning to get slightly desperate um another thing i picked up from the range was this little guy i love him 
Is he, you know, is he a stag or a moose? I just don't know. Let's see, does it say? No. It's a deer. <laughs> so, yeah, I think he's super cute. Wool and deer. Super cute. Um, and I picked these up from the range because I've been asked to do a table. Somebody saw this on my Instagram. Uh, I'll put this over on my Instagram. And somebody saw it and said, oh, will you, will you, um, you know, it was one of my friends that saw it. It wasn't just some random, <laughs> random person. And they said, oh, will you do me one? So I thought, well, I might as well, you know, um, and while I was in the range, <laughs> I might as well. No, I, I, you know, I do help my friends out and stuff. And uh, there, they are my favourite uh, floral designs, if you like. I, I love them. I, there's no stress. There's no mess. You just go straight in and you design it. And it's there and it's beautiful. I love them. And the impact is great. So I picked these up. Now, I know these are for weddings and they're little wedding bouquets, ready-made wedding bouquets. But I'm, I, it's, I went for, because there wasn't very much in the, the way of... Uh, winter florals in the range there wasn't very much of anything in the range you know as regards in, in my range anyway as regards christmas decorations there was some there but there wasn't what they always have and i think they're struggling with deliveries guys i think that's what it is so these and they have been kissed with glitter on the edges of their petals um if you can see that and so I thought, well, I will compromise and I will use those in my, you know, in the table decoration that I'm making. So they were $3.99, the foam roses, $3.99 a bunch. Um, and um, what what else can I say about them, guys? You know, you've got that, even got those little pearls. I don't think I'll put the pearls in the, decorate, in the table decoration. I could do, we'll see. But yeah, so I've picked up two of those and they were 3 99 each. Is that it from the range? Because honestly, I, d I really didn't get much because what I went in for, they didn't have. Um, and so now we're going on to George Asda. So I ordered these online. I will try and link them down below if they are still in stock. Uh, and I'll link them down below if they're not in stock because, to be honest with you guys, it sometimes it leads on to something else, doesn't it? So I picked up these. Uh, I picked up two of these guys and they were £8 each. Uh, gingerbread houses. Really, really cute. They're a resin, I know. They're a resin. Santa Claus. Uh, little gift, Christmas tree, wreath. You've got your windows and your door and your, your icing and your sprinkles. Um, nice 3D. Your candy cane um, pillars. But it's really quite attractive, isn't it? So I picked up two of these and these were £8. £8 each. Um, and they are... I don't even think that is resin, actually. I think it's that stuff. Uh, it's like a clay and then it'll dry off I think it's that anyway but yeah love those so uh, they're for my decorating my gingerbread and candy cane hallway um, that will be coming soon because my lights have arrived now guys um, it's just that I've been unwell um, yesterday was terrible I was on the settee all day today I'm still not great. I've had to put a face full of, and you can't even tell really, can you? I've had to put a face full of makeup on to try and look better than what I did. Uh, yeah, I'm not great. So I've got an upset stomach with it. It's fibromyalgia, and I know it's fibromyalgia. My hair's gone really knotty again. You've heard me talk about that before, haven't you? Uh, it makes my hair really knotty. I don't know why. Um, but uh, yeah, I get depressed with it too. So I've been right off you know and um sitting here on this saturday and doing this and having a chat with you guys is much better than moping about over there doing nothing looking around feeling stressed and making myself worse so i'm happy to be here you know i really really am so i said i've just said i've got the lights for the garland in the hallway so i usually have uh white lights on the um 
stair garland. Every year I put white lights on. Um, and this year, because it's going to be, it's going to have that fun factor. You know, it's going to be playful um, with the candy canes and the gingerbreads. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I decided I would have some coloured lights. So I picked up 200 uh, string lights, just your bog standard. Comes in this nice little um, case. These, I was a bit surprised because they are battery operated. However, they, they're not like they used to, when they first changed to LEDs, them colours were horrible. And I and I refused to use them, um, and that's why I went on to the white and the the warm white because the coloured lights were awful. But they seem to have adjusted the recipe somewhat, and they're looking so much better. You know, like the old fashioned seventies uh, coloured lights. So it seems to me they're back to normal. Sorry about the flashing, guys. Let me get it on a steady, and then you can. I think that's a steady. So yeah, I've picked up, <laughs> goodness sake. That's the only thing, isn't it? When you've got to adjust these, it does, does my head in at times. So you've got all those lovely coloured lights. There's 200 there. I don't know whether it tells me the meter. Oh, I better turn those off now. So I've turned them off. 80, 80 meters, do you think? Is that what it says? I can't see, guys, and I've not got my bloody glasses to the table. So, yeah, so they were £10 for 200 Okay, so I got those, but then I got these, and these were £8. They were £8 per box, and I've got some here to show you. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Um, so these, these string lights, and they're on here, there's a 100 uh, multicolored bulbs indoor and outdoor use guys and they run off uh, electric so I've plugged some in here to show you and I think they're absolutely lovely you see aren't they whoopsie aren't they gorgeous guys can you see it's funny isn't it you can't really it's not really picking the but they're almost like Pastel because it because of that white because of that white bauble because I'll show you that's it oh you, you can't see <laughs> sorry guys because of that white bauble you know can you see any better they're absolutely gorgeous definitely lovely and playful the colour on them is absolutely stunning so yeah I'm really happy to be putting those in my garland and they were eight pounds for a hundred um and i again i'm not sure if it gives you the meter because sometimes you need the meter don't you it's not how many bulbs there is it's how far it's going to stretch uh distance from first to last bulb 9.9 .9 meters so that's quite some way uh and definitely uh, ample enough for my stairs and round the, the bottom banister so yeah so that was that from um the range and asda i think that's that so you've got that you've got those yeah that was that and then guys i because i was looking for those green baubles i went into a charity shop now i didn't find the green baubles this was saint anne's hospice and i went in and um i did find these little tiny baubles but if you remember the the coloured baubles that I got from my uh, home bargains haul recently my last home bargains haul you'll see it it's it's a few videos back I um bought some multicoloured baubles and they had like the the see-through the um transparent bulb coloured baubles and I said they're like bubbles well these now it says on this box that these are real glass, so I'll have to be careful with those. And their original price was three ninety nine. I don't know where they're from. Yeah, and it says real glass there. Don't know where they're from, um, but I paid a pound for those. And there is three. I don't know nine, 
27, I think. 9, 18. I think 27. One of them smashed, but that doesn't matter. I'll sort that out. Well, I'm not going to sort it out. I'm just going to dash it in the bin <laughs> because I can't piece it together. Um, and then I saw these. Now, I'm no stranger to secondhand goods, guys, as you know. Um, you can make things out of, you know, you don't have to have everything brand new. And I certainly don't because I can't afford it. So, you know, for instance, she's secondhand. The 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 mannequin, the actual uh, fret mannequin. Um, she's not fret, sorry. She's filigree. Filigree mannequin came from the... Um, car boot in summer and so did the tree that I made a skirt with in summer I'm no stranger to secondhand goods and um you can always make something out of you know it really is true one man's tr trash is another man's treasure it really is true so uh in the same St Anne's hospice shop I saw these lots of lots and lots of baubles um and they were th did she charge me three pounds for them yeah, I think she charged me three pounds for them and a pound for these. Um, and somebody's taking good care of these guys because on the packet it says fireplace garland baubles. So, you know, they've packed their, their Christmas decorations away um, quite organised and they've been looked after. So, you know, in there you've got um, little parcels, you've got your your red baubles, you've got your shine, you've got your glitter, uh, you've got gold. Um, there's bells in here because I can hear them. Bells on the bottom. There is a little green bauble there, but it's the wrong green kind of, I think. Mind you, I could mix it up. Um, and I was really quite impressed. So three pounds. Yeah, three pounds. Sorry, I was looking at the price on the thingy there and it says 39.99. I, I think it might have been bedding or something, don't you guys? So yeah, so, oh no, it was a size 14, whatever it was. <laughs> so yeah, so there we go. So I picked those up and like I say, you know, on my, you can see on my last video how I, how I made her um, out of secondhand stuff. My last two videos actually, how I made her out of secondhand stuff. Um, I'm no stranger to secondhand stuff, so you know, have a look. It is the time, and they are quite see they are well, they are seasonal um charity shops are so have a little uh root and toot in your charity shops, guys. Doesn't all have to be new, does it? So that's it for this one, guys. I hope uh you've enjoyed this video, and I hope I've been able to bring you some ideas um, you know, with the um gift guide for him. Um I love those socks. I really do. I like everything. I like, I can honestly say that I like absolutely everything that I have got from um, New Chic. I'm always dubious and that's why it was the third time that they asked me and that, you know, the third time I accepted um, because I'm always dubious about it. Um, and I don't want to steer you wrong. and I don't want to tell you fibs. I don't want to sit here and say, oh yeah, it's great. Well, actually, guys, I'm not telling fibs. I really, really <laughs> I'm impressed um, with the things that I've gotten for the boys. So um, I hope I was of some help to you there. And um, like I say, I will, because these are really lovely, aren't they, guys? I will uh, link um, everything as much as I can down in the description box. They've changed on my, on my tablet. The description boxes have changed. You used to just scroll up. You know, the video was playing. You could literally scroll up your, your screen like that and the description box was there, you know. Now you've got to tap a little arrow in the corner and then it pops up at the side. I don't know why they changed it. You know, I do believe they're getting rid of the thumbs down too. I read that this morning on the BBC News that YouTube are getting rid of the thumbs down option. And I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um... I really don't. So, uh, so yeah, so that's it for this one, guys. Have a lovely, and like I say, you know, sitting here and doing this, even though I'm feeling absolutely pants, <laughs> um, it's, it's given me a little bit something to focus on, guys. So 
I will be back with some decorating next and I'm not sure whether it's going to be the tree or whether it's going to be the garland in the um, in the hallway you know the uh, it depends depends guys uh, but it's going to be one of the two I need to get this big these big lots of decorations out of the way I need to do the thingy I'm still on an hour and about my fireplace guys I'm not entirely sure what to do on the fireplace I've got too many options uh, you know so it's doing my head in to be honest and it's not a clear head so um if i can get rid get rid if i can decorate all of the big stuff the stair garland the not so much the fireplace i'll i'll, I'll tackle that when as and when the tree and then I, I know that they're done then i can sit here and i can do my angel's wings i can do this a couple of other bits that i'm gonna have to get carl to help me with um for the hallway uh, but I can be making those individual things then and we can do some crafting at the table um, and not just decorating. Do you know what I mean? So I hope you'll stick around for that and I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and um, consider hitting the subscribe button. It'd be lovely to have you join the channel. Um, and that's that's it for this one, guys. You all take care and I'll see you on Tuesday. All being, all being well. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, all being well. And um, have a lovely rest of the weekend, guys. Take care. Bye.